All right, let's uh, let's sit down for this one. So, um, it, it has not been confirmed yet, uh, but it's pretty much confirmed. When we heard that John Harbaugh said, because you know John Harbaugh, you don't talk about injuries like that. But when we heard John Harbaugh said Marlon Humphrey is going to be out for a while, as soon as I said, as soon as I saw that, I said, "Oh yeah, he's out for the season. He's done." He's done because we know that Harbaugh is pretty hush hush when it comes to injuries and he does not give any definitive answers, especially immediately after a game. They don't give any definitive, an especially before an MRI. No, he, he, he doesn't. They, they don't do that. So the fact that he did that, and he said, oh, he's going to be out for a while. We knew Marlon was done. We knew it. And that, that's been this season in a nutshell. This season in a nutshell. So many key players hurt. Uh, of course, Marcus Peters out for the year. Uh, Chris Westry has missed some time. He missed a significant amount of time. He's out for a little while. Jimmy Smith, he was out for a little while. Uh, Tavon Young, he left this game, so not sure what his status is. Um, at least Harbaugh didn't say he's going to be out for a while, but we'll see what happens. Uh... Anthony Averett, he only missed a game. But um, Deshaun Elliott out for the year. and Because he, he had missed a couple of games initially. And then he came back and then he ended up being out for the rest of the year. Uh, this secondary has taken just so many significant blows. Like they, they're, so they're, they're going to lose their starting safety. And they're two starting corners for the remainder of the year. And then the, the ones that you have left, Jimmy Smith, that's a scare because he hasn't had the best um, injury history. Tavon Young, again, still a question mark because he hasn't had the best injury history. So now you're down to who, what, uh, Robert Jackson. You could try Brandon Steele. You could put him at corner. Um, it's, the Ravens are going to have to get creative. It's going to be a lot of roster movement this week. Uh, again, still not confirmed with Marlon Humphrey yet, but that's the expectation. Uh, the confirmation should come tomorrow even though we don't want to hear it, we don't want to see it, but we expect to hear it and we expect to see it. But now it's like, oh, uh, what do you do? Well, you're eight and four. You have a good record. You're in good position. Should have been, should have been uh, nine and three. And, and you had an opportunity to, but we, we'll talk about that whole thing later. Because, again, apparently John Harbaugh said I don't. I don't feel. I didn't feel comfortable going into overtime without Marlon Humphrey. But we'll talk about that more later. But you have a good record. You're in good position overall. If everything ended today, you would be in the playoffs. Um, that number one seed. No, you wouldn't have that. Uh, well, based off of your decisions, I don't even really think you deserve that right now. But anyway. Um, Ravens, they have to stick to their motto. And I was saying this before the game, the Ravens motto this year has been find a way, find a way. And they've been finding ways, despite all the injuries, they've been finding ways to get it done. And we only talked about the injuries in the secondary. We ain't talk about everybody else because that has been a long list Derek Wolf, he's another one. Malik Harrison with his situation, he was out for a while. LJ Fort, I know a lot of people forget about LJ Fort. He's out. Uh, it's been crazy. Brandon Williams, he had been hurt for a little while. Not for the season, though, but he had been hurt for a little bit. Calais Campbell, he had his concussion. He was just out a week, though. But then on offense, don't get me started. Don't get me started. Ronnie Stanley. Patrick McC McCary, Tyree Phillips, Rashad Bateman, Sammy Watkins. 
Obviously, Gus Edwards, J.K. Dobbins, Justice Hill, now Miles Boykin. <sighs> Make it end, man. Make it end. Make the injury stop, please. It's like you almost feel like as a Ravens fan, you feel like you're, you're stuck in this spot to where you a lot of Ravens fans are already thinking about next year. They're already thinking about next year. Oh, man, when we get all these guys back, this team is going to be so much better. They're thinking about that. But at the same time, but you're like, wait, hold on. Wait, wait. We're eight and four. Eight and four. And every time you think about the Ravens record, you automatically think, man, what what if this guy wasn't hurt? What if that guy wasn't hurt? What if this guy was healthy? What if that guy was healthy? Da -da 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 -da. But they're not. But you don't want the Ravens to just cave in on this season. You don't want them to throw away this season like they threw away the game this afternoon. But you don't want them to throw away this season because they're sitting at a good spot. They're sitting at a real good spot. So you just hope that they can overcome all, all of that. Oh, boy. And it's crazy because the defense, we had criticized them before. And Wink, especially last week against the, uh, the Browns, he was adjusting. He made adjustments, and he was letting safeties play. Safety is doing his thing. And even in this game, in this game, you didn't see anybody just running wide open. Only when Anthony Avery and Marlon Humphrey, when they ran into each other. But besides that, you didn't see guys just running wide open like you had been seeing like every week. You didn't see it at all this game. And it was like, oh, wow, that's, that's something. And the, the only other time somebody was wide open, it was on the, the touchdown pass to, to Deontay uh, Johnson. Where Marlon, it was sort of, it wasn't a pick play, but Marlon, he kind of like, oh, this is hard to explain. I, I, I know what I'm seeing and I remember the play, but how to explain it? Because I think somebody like cut across Marlon and, it, and he was running, but then Deontay jo Johnson just stopped. And Marlon was like, he was like five yards off of him. And Marlon was like, rrr, rrr. it was like them cartoons. You know them cartoons when, uh, when they chasing after somebody. And then uh, that person makes a turn. And while the person who's chasing the other person, they trying to make that turn, but they, got, they go, rrr, rrr. that's how it was with Marlon on that touchdown play. He tried to make that turn, but he just couldn't. And I don't know. I, I, it just it seemed like Marlon Humphrey, like he's been injured all year, really. It's been, it's been seeming like that. It does not seem like Marlon Humphrey has been healthy this year. And I know a lot of people, they noticed that since the Raiders game in week one. And we know Marlon Humphrey, he had the, the scare earlier this offseason. Oh, boy. In training camp, he had the groin injury scare. And it was like, man, and that was right after Rashad Bateman. He had a groin injury, and they were like, oh, Rashad Bateman, he's going to have to have surgery, and he's going to be out. Like, oh, man, what? Come on. And then, like, right after that, like, oh, Marlon Humphrey, he got a groin injury, so he's going to be out indefinitely. What? Come on, now. But then he ended up coming back, like, a week and a half later, something like that. But it had really seemed like Hump was hurt all year long. All year and he, he just has not seen himself this year. Now, we know his struggles have always been with tracking the ball, especially tracking the deep ball. That has been a big struggle of his for forever, since he, his rookie year, even back at Alabama. But this year was just different. This year, and, and maybe it could be because of Marcus Peters, because Marcus Peters has been out. But this year, just Marlon Humphrey has definitely been having a down year. And we talked about uh, the, how there was the statistic going around. Oh, before this game, oh, Marlon Humphrey leads the league in pass breakups. He leads the league in passes deflected. Or no, no, no. That's what it was. He leads the league in forced incompletions. That's what it was. And I know there were so many people that were pointing to that stat. Oh, yeah. See, Marlon Humphrey, he's not having a down year. So he told you. No. That's, that's why you can't just look at numbers and be like, okay, this person's having a good year or that person. No, numbers don't tell the whole story. Marlon Humphrey has definitely been having a down year. He's not a bad player, but he's been having a down year for sure. 
a down year. But now his year is probably going to be over. Since it's, he's probably going to be out for the year. So his down year, it, it gets this is the, the downest that it could possibly be. Wow, we have just lost. Like, again, the people that we've lost this year, that's, a, that's an all-pro team, right? Not Pro Bowl, all-pro. Pro Bowl, just how popular you are. No, the team that we lost, all-pro. Ronnie Stanley, J.K. Dobbins, Gus Edwards, Marcus Peters. Like, we lost some dudes, man. We really did. And the thing you wonder... Like with Marlon Humphrey, whatever the injury is, it's obviously an upper body injury. You just hope there are no setbacks. Now, usually the biggest fear with setbacks is with leg injuries. Usually upper body injuries, you don't really hear about too many setbacks with that. But still, you just never know. You never know. So we just hope that whatever the case is, I've been hearing shoulder, I've been hearing pec, I've been hearing this and that. Um, but whatever the case is, you just hope that the recovery is smooth and it's just, it's an easy process. So whether he having surgery or not, whatever it is, it just gets, and you hope it just doesn't linger. You hope it doesn't linger, especially with the injury happening so late in this season. So once we find out whatever the injury is that, and that'll come out tomorrow, it'll be definite tomorrow because today is just speculation. But once we find out exactly what the injury is and, and what it, how long he's going to be out for, then you can talk about the recovery time, how long those injuries normally take to recover uh, from, and that can give you a better outlook on next season. Whether he'll just need to do rehab, whether he'll need to do surgery, whatever it may be. So it's, uh, it sucks either way. Because you, you, you lost your, presumably, you probably lost your two best corners for the rest of the year. And you, I mean, one of them, you ain't even get to, he, he didn't even get to play. He didn't even get to play. But this one, you've had him for, what, 13 weeks? Didn't he miss a game this year? I don't even remember. But either way, he's gone now. And most likely for the year. So, Wink, his, his job, and it's, it's crazy because he had just, I felt like he had been doing a better job. But now his job gets that much harder like that. It gets that much harder right away. So you got to hope Chris Westry is back next week. Hope Jimmy Smith is good. Hope Tavon Young is good too. Because again, I'm sure we'll hear about him tomorrow too. Hopefully it's nothing with him too. But you just got to hope that you can get all these boys back together. And oh man, it's gonna, this is going to be quite a week in practice for those Ravens. So we'll see how things go and we'll see how things turn out. But unfortunately, like Marlon Humphrey probably is for the rest of the season, I'm out. <laughs>